It was supposed to be a day of mourning, a day of defeat. It was a day for the critics and skeptics to point the finger with smug satisfaction and declare, your savior was a fraud. His death has proven it. He is buried, he is gone, and he will be forgotten. It was supposed to be a day of darkness and a day of grief. A day when broken and confused followers felt lost and overwhelmed with hopelessness. Even those who went to visit the tomb that day expected to find nothing more than a lifeless body. It was supposed to be a day of sadness and weeping. You transformed it into a day of rejoicing, a day of victory, a day when the children of God can shout with confidence, He is alive, He is risen, and He will never be forgotten. This day has driven out all darkness and grief, erased all sin and shame, a day when followers of the true Savior are flooded with purpose, promises, and hope. This day echoes through the halls of history as the day our King crushed the head of the snake, tore through the chains of death itself, and claimed mankind for His kingdom. Tears of despair have become tears of overwhelming joy. For the Lord, Jesus Christ, has made this day of sorrow into a day of worship.